Hey guys and girls, it's Russ from RussHowPTI.com. As you guys know, if you've been watching the videos on our channel so far, I like to share a few inside stories on what, what happens, you know, working in my gym and uh, useful tips in the gym uh, for your, your training programs and stuff. And today I want to share with you a story, you know, this happened one week ago when I was working in my gym and this really freaked me out, really disturbed me, so much so that I wanted to make a video to try and help a few other people um, to stop this happening to them. And what happened was, a lot of people get a bit obsessed with their weight, you know, checking their weight every every hour, every two hours. And a young lady called Diane, now I didn't know Diane uh, before I met her last week, uh, but obviously she knew me because of the gym and everything and the, the videos that we do. And she came up to me and she said, Russ, I think I'm becoming a little bit obsessed with checking my weight. I'm doing it every hour or so, uh, looking at myself in the mirror every, after every meal. Um, and I wanted, you know, is there anything I can do before this becomes a real problem for me? Because, you know, I shouldn't be focusing on my weight that much, right? Um, all credit to her for noticing, first of all, because a lot of people that do this don't even realise how, how obsessed they're becoming. Um, becoming this obsessed with your weight only leads to a bad place. We're going to show you how to get this out of your system. Uh, well, the reason we're doing this video is because it happens to a lot of people. And maybe, I don't know, maybe if, we can, if you can see the early signs of this sort of stuff developing in you today, then you can nip this in the bud and get rid of it forever. Because once you get this way of thinking, which we're going to show you what happened to Diane today, um, it's a dangerous game to play. You know, it's hard to get out of. And what we said to Diane was, um, I was going to take her weight on that day and then, well, I'll show you what we did in a moment. But the thing which really disturbed me is that uh, before she took her weight, she ran to the toilet. And as a trainer, that's when red flags go off straight away, particularly when someone said they have already got a little bit of a problem. Um, but she came back and I said, you know, you're only getting weighed. You, you don't have to run to the toilet and stuff before you get weighed. It's not that big of a deal. Um, and she said, oh, Russ, honestly, that's nothing. If I was getting weighed at home, um, I'd go as far as to, like, blow my nose to try and be as light as possible on the scales. And even though it was a week ago, that still disturbs the hell out of me, that there's people out there that are that, that focused on losing weight, that, you know, that obsessed with losing weight, that they get in that mindset where they blow your nose before you get on the scales, I mean, so uh, what we did in, with Diane, I mean, I, I took her weight and I said, you're not going to take your weight for the next three weeks, next time you get weight, I'm going to do it, um, and I'm going to do your body fat percentage, your measurements, because that's what tells you whether you're getting results, not the scales. If you watched our video we did a couple of months ago, you'll know that already. Um, so that's what we did, and already she says a week later, I already feel great because it's kind of put the pressure off, knowing that I'm on it now, not her. She doesn't have to check every hour. Um, one of the things which really bugs me, one of, the, one of the reasons she's like that, and she associated with everything I said when I was, when I was sort of going, going through showing why this happens to people. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you type in to the search box, um, Celebrity Diets. You'll see a video which pops up on the first page from myself. Um, I worked pretty hard with that video because you can imagine that's that's something which gets searched for quite a lot. So I, I worked pretty hard to get that video ranked high to try and save as many people as we can from falling into that bullshit cycle that you see in celebrity glossy women's magazines. You know, with the diets promising that you're going to lose two stone in a week um, or <laughs> without doing any work or you, they have you eating nothing but salad for a month. Um, it promotes yo-yo diets. It, people end up in a worse situation than they start. It promotes women getting so obsessed with their weight that they feel like they've got to blow their damn nose before they get on the scales. It really gets on my nerves. Um, you don't need it. So that's why we did that video. You do not need it. You don't need the diet like that. Okay? Um, if, you, if you're noticing that you're getting a bit hooked on that type of dieting, search Celebrity Diets, find that video and watch it and it will show you why they don't work, okay? More importantly, you can also watch videos on our channel which will show you how to diet. It's a lot easier than those things make out and it actually stays off uh, the weight once it's gone as well. So, um, what we said to Diane was we're going to take her measurements again in, in three weeks, I think two weeks now. Um, and that will show, you know, because if you just go off what the scales say, you ain't getting the full picture. Um, my brother is a perfect example of that. You know, Sean lost seven and a half stone 
and got down from 24 stone to about 16, 17 stone. And he, he wanted to have that power lifter type physique. He wanted to be big, muscular, um, but he knew he had a lot, of, a lot of fat to get rid of as well. So he wanted to... And for the past six months, Sean's weight has stayed the same. Now, if he was just looking at the scales, he could be forgiven for thinking, it's not working anymore, right? I'm staying the same weight. But because he trains with me and I've got him doing his body fat, although his weight stays the same, he knows his body fat is still going down and he's actually putting muscle on. So overall, his weight might be the same, but he's totally different than he was six months ago. His, his strength has gone through the roof. Um, so that's why it's important not to rely on the skills, not to obsess over the skills, because not only is it bad for your health, but it'll drive you crazy and it doesn't even give you the full story anyway. All right, so if you can see any of those signs happening in you today, I hope to God this video has helped you. I hope it stops you before you, it becomes a problem. This is one of the worst days I've ever had at the gym. Just, I felt so sorry for this lady. She's such a nice woman. And, and, uh, it's just all these bullshit magazines that have got this mentality now that she's got to obsess over every little ounce that she puts on. Um, it's just nonsense. It's just nonsense. She's already said it feels great not having to jump on the scales every five minutes now. It's only been a week. Uh, imagine what it's going to be like in a month. Um, anyway, rant over. <laughs> Hopefully today's video has helped you. Search out another video if you want to watch the celeb diets thing we did, um, exposing what, why they don't work. Um, catch us on Facebook, go to Russ Health PTI on Facebook and click like and you'll get all our videos for free every week. Um, thanks a lot for watching today's video and I hope it helps you. If you know anyone that's stuck in this cycle as well, share today's video with them and help them too. That's what it's all about. That's why we do it. Thank you. Bye-bye.